Let's talk about the singleton design pattern. Now this pattern is the most easiest of the, all the design patterns that you have seen. Now let's just try straight in. So as the name suggests singleton. Singleton basically means that the object that you are creating for a particular class, you should not be creating the object again and again. So how do you create an object? You make a call, suppose there is a class A, it has some functions and there is a class B. Now this class B creates a function of class A by calling new class A and then it finally calls the function inside class A. Now suppose that this this class B is being called from the client directly. Suppose let's take the example of the pizza ordering system. So let's suppose that this is a kind of order class and this is a price calculator class. So when someone places the order, now obviously for every new order you would have to make a call to this function. So that's why you would have to create a call from the client here. So you, therefore you will make a call to this client and it will uh, it will basically need to calculate the price for the order you are asking. Now for every call, instead of creating a new object every time of this class A, why not just create one single object? because this class is kind of stateless. It just requires the input, it will give you the output. It doesn't need to know anything like and once you get the output it is done, there is no states being maintained and it is just giving you the price on the basis of some conditions which you pass. Now there is no point of creating this price calculation class again and again. So what we are meaning is that this class has one object which is there and every time this class B will use that object to directly call this function. So basically what we are saying is that we are not doing new every time. Now what we will do if we are not doing new? That we will see in the code. Now let's see the code. The code is very important in these kind of singleton pattern. So if we are not using new, how are we creating the object? Let's see now. So this price calculator class, we wanted to make it a singleton. How would we do that? We don't want the classes to call it by new. So what we have done here, we have made the constructor private. So no one can call the price calculator. But if the constructor is private, how would someone even create the object? That's where this static functions help us. So this static function, what it will do, it will just return the instance which is created using, which is also a static, a static member of this class itself and it is creating the new price calculator. So this line would execute just once whenever the service which you are running it turns up. So when it turns up this instance is created and it lives on and it can be used by any of the classes which want. What they have to simply do? They have to just call this get instance function like the order pizza class is doing. It will just do price calculator get instance. It will get the instance of the price calculator. It doesn't have to do any changes. Now the most important thing to see here is that this price calculator is a stateless class it is not maintaining any kind of state. If it was maintaining any kind of state, we should not make it singleton. This is really, really important because if you make it singleton, that means there are some things which are being stored and everyone is accessing those things. And it is possible that do you may want those variables to be different for some other class and different for some other class. In that case, singleton does not work. So don't just blindfoldedly create every class a singleton it should be a stateless class which should just take in some parameter and re give you the required things mostly these are utility classes or it are they are some component classes which have some fixed hard-coded business logic in them so this is what the singleton pattern is and i hope you got it and i'll see you in the next one